If you're a video editor, it's so important to be organized. I'm going to show you how I organize my files on my computer and also right within Adobe Premiere Pro, hopefully to give you some tips or a helpful template that you can follow on your own with your upcoming projects so that you can stay organized. Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how I do it. So I'm in Premiere Pro and I'm gonna walk you through how I typically organize a video project. I have this old project. This was just a fun sort of video that I made with my friends. If anyone has seen the Great British Baking Show, it's available on Netflix. Here in the States, it's one of my guilty pleasures. <laughs> and I love baking and I love uh, cooking. And so my friends and I, this past holiday season, we got together, did our own version of the Bake Off and I shot some video. Anyways, that being said, that's kind of embarrassing, but you should go watch the show. So the key with being organized is you want to be organized in Premiere Pro and outside of Premiere Pro in your folder structure in your computer's documents. The more organized you are, the easier it's going to be if you ever need to come back and re-edit a project or, or if you know you wake up on Monday and you're trying to figure out where the files are that you were working on on Friday. So there's other tutorials out there that walk through like from step one to step Z, how you create a new bin in Premiere Pro and how you type in words to title a bin in Premiere Pro. I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna show you kind of how I do it. And if you need to learn exactly how you create a new bin and how you create sequences, there's other tutorials out there for that, including our full course. So first, let me just show you in Finder what a typical folder will look like. So when I start a project, I will create a brand new folder. So that's what the Sandy Miss Bake Off folder is. And then within that folder, I, ha I set it up with a video folder, music, graphic, exports, and project files. Now the rest of these folders, these four up here, and then this one, those are automatically created by Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you add motion graphics, or if your auto save is set to where you create your project, then it's going to appear in here. So really just video, that's where all my video footage goes. Audio actually probably should go there too, if, or there should be a separate audio folder if you record audio separately. Project files, this is where I save all of the different versions of this project. Usually at the end of the day, I'll just save a new version so that if I do ever wanna go backwards, I can go back to a project. You've got music, the graphics, and then exports. So that's where you export all your videos. And you can see that if you're looking in Premiere Pro, it looks kind of similar. I have video, sequences, music, graphics, and audio. I do have an audio folder in here for this project because I was actually recording audio straight into Premiere Pro, which you can do. Um, and that's why I didn't have an audio folder outside in Finder. But when I import my files, I just keep that structure. Video, music, graphics, audio. And so if I ever add any footage or add graphics or create graphics that I want to use for this video, I'm going to save it first into the right Finder folder and then into Premiere Pro. So that's how I sort of organize my folder structure. To be completely honest, it's not always this clean. And also when you watch other tutorials about organization in Premiere Pro, they'll give you lots of great tips on how within the video folder or within sequences, you can have subfolders and within graphics, you can have subfolders for titles and you know lower thirds and for whatever other types of graphics. But most edi editors will say that they just throw everything into one sort of master folder. Now that might not be the best advice, but it's the honest truth of how I usually work. Usually you'll find some random files out here as well, but to be honest, when I started recording this, I moved all of my files into the right folders so that you can see what a properly organized Premiere Pro project would look like. Notice also that I have this sequence out here. This is the sequence that I'm currently working on. If I finish a sequence or I'm working on a new sequence, I'll throw it into this sequences folder um, and always keep the one that I'm working on out here. So. That's how I organize that. Let's just really quickly cover how I organize the timeline itself. 
you can see that I have different colors and different things going on on the different tracks. This is generally going to be the same whether I'm doing a video like this with some sort of talking head moments and interviews. I have B-roll and then I have graphics. It would be the same if I was doing sort of a promotional video or a narrative film or something where I have multiple kinds of shots. So usually you have your talking head video, your interview, your main footage, that's going to go on the video one layer. So you can see here, there I am in my Santa hat with my buddy James, and we were on a team together. Uh, so these are all the clips where I am talking. And so what I did before when I started editing this, I went through all of my footage and I found all of the sound bites. And that's kind of how I organized this edit. It's going to look a little different uh, if you're editing a different type of video, but generally, I go through the interviews or the talking head and I find all the sound bites and put those together on track one. And then for track two, I put all of my B-roll. This should actually be track three. That's a graphic, uh, but track two is B-roll. So if I play through this, so you can see the B-roll of us cooking, our amazing treats. And so that's all the B-roll, that extra footage that you put on top of the talking video that adds more description or shows the viewer what you're actually doing or what you're talking about. On the third track, I have graphics. So these are the title cards. You've got this title that's over the video. I created these graphics that are sort of created in After Effects and I brought into Premiere Pro and it's just right there. We've got lower thirds right here. So those are all of my graphic layers that go in the third track. Down below, you can see an audio. The first track is a lot of the main audio. Usually I'll just have one track of audio. Here I have two tracks. So the second track is, this track is if I want to combine or have multiple audio playing at the same time. So you can see here that I have some talking, some voiceover, and then I added some of that B-roll natural sound audio as well. So this really depends on how you want to work. Usually I'll have dialogue all on one track and then on the next track, that's just sort of that background natural sound. And then in that third track, I have music. So generally you'll have a music track and you can see that I have lots of uh, points to increase, decrease the levels there. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it in terms of how I wanted to film this video and this tutorial. If you have any questions, I think this is something that's very personal in terms of how you want to organize your footage. And also it depends on what type of video you're making. If you're making a full length narrative film, it's going to look a lot different than a short one to two minute video vlog. You might not even need all of these folders, but for most projects that I do, if it's like a corporate job or a professional job, I do try to keep it organized. And the good thing about that is not only for me to be able to go back and edit it, but oftentimes I'll have jobs where later down the road, the company will want to have that video file and they'll have another editor look at it. Or I have to work with another editor who we share the file with and it's important to stay organized. So hopefully you like these tips and if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.